Good morning everyone! Happy Saturday sa inyong lahat! Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsama sa akin sa umaga ito. I'm so happy to be with you again. Another time we could have uh, fun through singing and learning from God's Word. But before we begin, before we continue, let us ask for God's blessing sa time na ito. So let's pray together, everyone. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful morning. Maraming salamat po, Lord, for keeping us safe all throughout the night and for giving us another strength for today. We are so blessed for giving us this special day where we could learn and study together. Lord, thank you so much sa bawat isa na nakikinig sa oras na ito. I pray that you would open our hearts, cleanse us from our uh, sins, that we would be ready to receive your word, to learn from your word. Give us the wisdom, the understanding, as we uh, spend time to know you, Lord, through your word. Thank you so much for providing for us, Lord, throughout the week, and most of all, for keeping us safe throughout the week. So we uh, ask for your guidance, and you may be glorified, that you may be glorified in our time together. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So, thank you so much. Dahil nandito kayo, you're going to spend time with me, and I'm so excited. I have some special treat for you today. I have some special guests. Later, malalaman nyo kung sino sila. Tutulungan nila ako na mag-share uh, ng story natin for today. So, ready na ba kayo? Okay, so let's learn a new song. So, the title of this song is Tell the Truth. Okay, so makinig kayo mabuti mga bata. This song has an important lesson and ma ma-apply natin to sa ating mga buhay sa araw-araw. So, this is how the first verse goes. As I was riding underneath the sky, my heart was tempted and I told a lie. It looked so little and it seemed so tame But soon this evil brought my heart to shame Tell the truth, never tell a lie Oh, tell the truth till the day you die Verse 2, my little story started out so small, but it got bigger and my tails grew tall. I tried to cover all my wicked sin. Till someone caught me and I lied again. Tell the truth, never tell a lie. Oh, tell the truth till the day you die. Verse 3. Please learn your lesson from this little song Or you will never tell the right from wrong When you're dishonest, evil seed is sown And you'll regret it when the truth is known Tell the truth Never tell a lie Oh, 
tell the truth till the day you die. I hope you have listened and thought about the words of the song. It is a good reminder, a reminder for all of us to tell the truth and be honest in everything we say and do. Napaka-importante mga bata that we would always tell the truth. Gaya ng song, minsan nagsistart siya sa maliit lang eh. Ngayon lang, minsan lang at napakaliit lang, di naman mahahalata. We might think it's little, but as the days go by, ano nangyayari? Our little life will turn, it will grow bigger, then it will grow taller, no? Lalo na tayong magsisinungaling kasi ang dami-dami na natin pinagtatakpan and we try to cover our sin but one way or another it will be revealed. Malalaman at malalaman din yan. Now we might think it's a secret, it's my secret, nobody knows about it, it's just me. But there is someone who knows about it. We might not tell everyone and perhaps our parents don't know who or what we did but the Lord knows everything hindi pa natin nasasabi nandito pa lang alam na ni Lord yan alam na niya lahat yan kaya ano yung sabi ng song natin tell the truth because what the Lord knows everything whether we say it or not even if we keep it a secret the Lord knows about it. So let me read to you our verse in Proverbs chapter 20, um, 12. Okay. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 22. It says, Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are His delight. Wow, this is a good verse for us to memorize and remember every time we are tempted to lie. Every time na gusto natin magsinungaling, uh, gusto natin pagtakpan, we would like to cover our sins by telling a lie. Well, let's try to remember this verse. And we are being taught from God's word, what does it say there? To hate lying. Because lying is a sin and what? What does it say there? Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. The Lord hates lying sin and lying is a sin which means the Lord hates lying so ano mangyari pag tayo ay nag lie what happens the Lord is not happy about it right so ano dapat natin gawin we should always tell the truth even if we think we will get into trouble into trouble because sabi din sa Proverbs chapter uh, 28 Huh? May babasahin pa akong verse. So, Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. Anong sabi doon? He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So, instead of keeping it to ourselves and uh, adding up more lies, covering it with different kinds of lies, all types of lies, it's better to confess it because the Lord will give us mercy. And not only that, like it says in Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 22, but they that deal truly are his delight. You know, the Lord is happy if we speak the truth and do what is right. So today, we will learn a lesson about dishonesty. So, lend me your ears. I hope you will listen well and learn from our lesson today. So, here it is. What's the matter, Toby? Why are you so sad? Toby, and Matthew made a mess in my room and mommy's 
scolded me, thinking it was me who did it, and they did not even tell her it was them. Toby! Toby! Where are you? Grandma? Grandma? Are you looking for me? Toby! Is that true? What Toby said? Oh, 
Susan's mom told her to go back to the store and return the money. It made Susan feel unhappy as she entered through the door. She saw the baker getting scolded by the manager. Hearing the manager shout at the baker. Susan felt even sadder. It was because of her dishonesty that this man was getting scolded. She rushed in. Sir, sir, I have come back to, to give back the extra money that you gave me as change. I am so Sorry, I took it home by mistake. I'm really, really sorry. Please forgive me. Of course, my dear, you are forgiven. Thank you. The manager and the baker both were glad to see Susan's honesty. As a reward, they gave her delicious cupcakes. As she was leaving, the baker patted her on the head and said, You are a good and honest girl. Susan felt happy. All that feeling of unhappiness was gone the moment she was appreciated and rewarded. She realized honesty always pays off and brings happiness. She went back home and her mother gave her a tight hug. We are so sorry, Nathan, for being such dishonest brothers. It's okay. I forgive you. We are going to go right away and all up for your mistake. We will tell mom that it wasn't your fault. It was our duty. Good job, Toby. So you realize that it is very important to be honest. Sooner or later, your sin will be revealed, and you will never get away with it. But if we tell the truth, the Lord will give us mercy. Proverbs 
28, 13 says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So kids, did you have fun? Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa ating lesson today? Nakakaiba? But most of all, did you learn something from our lesson? Yun ang pinaka-importante. Kung meron kayong dapat tandaan, it's the lesson that we have learned from Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Just like the story of Susan, she thought no one would know about her little secret. But, you know, the Lord knows everything. So it was revealed at the end. And of course, Susan had to get it right. Nagconfess siya dun sa baker, mingi siya ng forgiveness. And uh, she learned her lesson. Now, we couldn't get things right by telling another lie just to cover up the first lie that we said so it's hard akala natin it's hard no but if we would follow god's word well the lord will help us he will give his give us the grace he will give us the boldness the courage to do what is right but of course we have to ask help from the lord and uh, we have to memorize scriptures we have to think of this verse that if we cover our sins we know that it will not be prospered no hindi hindi siya pagpapalain ni lord he gets sa lahat we will never get away with, with it we might think that ay nakalusot ako hindi walang nakakaalam hindi alam ng parents ko but always remember the Lord knows everything. Nandito pa lang sa thoughts natin, alam na ni Lord yan. So wala tayong may tatago. We might think that we could keep it a secret, but nothing is a secret from the Lord. So let's just do what is right. Always tell the truth. Be honest in everything that we say and do. Because the Lord will bless us if we do what is right. So, kids, I had fun, and I hope that you would remember everything we have learned. And most of all, the important thing is that we would learn to apply it in our daily lives. So, thank you so much for spending this precious time with me. So, before we uh, say goodbye, let us close in a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, so much for your word. Thank you that you are rebuking us, reminding us, teaching us to do what is right. Lord, I pray that you would work in the lives of our students, Lord, the children, everyone who is listening right now. Uh, I pray na yung mga batang ito, as young as they are, they would learn to do what is right according to your word. They would always think that even if no one is looking, no one knows what they're doing, you are always there. You know what they're thinking. You know what's in our hearts. So I pray and it's my desire that we would be uh, a good example, Lord, not only to, to our family, but to those around us, to our unsaved, lov uh, unsaved loved ones, Lord that we would be a good testimony, Lord. So I pray that uh, you would continue to keep us safe, be with this, these children, that they would learn to love you. And most of all, Lord, if there are children who have, hasn't, um, haven't accepted you as their Lord and Savior, I pray that they would come to a time they would understand about uh, salvation and that they would also come to know you and accept you as their lord and savior so thank you so much for this precious time we are so blessed 
from your word, Lord, and I give you back the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So kids, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you again for spending this precious time with me. Have a nice day. Goodbye.